Hi, I'm Heinberg. Good to have you back. On my Instagram, I often post pictures of test equipment that I find with the caption, Will it music? And oftentimes it does, kind of, but sometimes it does absolutely music. And the unit that I'm going to show you now is a monster of musicality when it comes to test equipment. It's the HP 8006A Word Generator. Side note, if the footage isn't looking as good as you're used to on my channel, that is because we had a break-in and the thieves took two cameras of mine and SD cards and more, such as the piggy bank of my daughter, but so I'm recording on a phone with the close-ups. I bought the word generator on a whim as I had no idea if it could be used for music, but I saw some signs that reminded me of modular synthesizers and the trigger sequences you can find there. The HP Pulse Generator was released in 1977, so it's one of the newer pieces of test equipment that I own. It was made to test telecommunications equipment, which got more and more complex. And the old analog impulse generators, such as the Programmierbarer Impulsgenerator that you find here, wouldn't cut it anymore. So a word is a series of pulses. And there are many ways in which the word generator creates these pulses. So let's go through the functions. Here's the power button. A clock input that can take a positive or negative pulse, a manual reset, sync outputs, which are very interesting. We'll get to that later. The different modes, it can be set to automatically cycle, it can be set to single cycle. PRN triggers a shift register, which will trigger random pulses. PGM is a program mode for external programming. And here you've got the cycle commands, so you can cycle it manually and you can cycle it with external signals which makes it great to sync. Then you've got an output A and an output B. These can be set to positive or negative pulses or to return to zero pulses, which means that every time one of these pulses is activated, it will return to zero. While if you go to plus, you can make chains of pulses. So it will go high and stay high here. Then it will go down, up, down, and then here it would stay high up here all the time. Up here, you've got the sequence length, so you can set how many of these steps should be included, just as you would as a regular music step sequencer. You've got the vanier, or I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, which is the speed of the internal clock. And you've got the bit rate. As you can see, this goes crazy fast. So this can be also used as an oscillator. And of course, it can be clocked externally using the clock input if you set it to this. You've got our step sequencer, which is the data content programmer. So you've got two words, word A and word B, which is two different series of pulses. And you can invert them with this knob. And you can chain them to 16 bits. So it's like this, one go here. And to 32 bit. So it will play this and then it will play this from the outputs. So those of you that have experience with modular step sequences might already feel the same tingle of excitement that I felt when I looked at the pictures of this. And let me tell you, that excitement is absolutely justified. This machine will music. It will not always make the music that you think you want to do, but it has some different opinions on that and those are always exciting, at least to me. So I'm going to connect output A to the pulse generator here and that pulse generator to the Rode and Schwarz OBM down here below, which will give us a kick drum. I'm using these banana to BNC converters for that, because I find banana patching more fun than patching with BNC cables. If no program mode is activated, the word generator will act as a clock. And you can set its speed using the sequence length. Or the venue. If you go to single cycle, you can play bursts. Now let's get something interesting here. Or you can now set it to plus, so it will chain these that are together.
and then you can auto cycle it, basically looping everything. And of course you can get variations by changing the sequence length. And if you chain them, it will put out all of these. So it will go here, and then it will go here. Which makes for some very complex rhythms. PRN is the shift register. Now it's sending out random bursts. PGM mode is for external programming, and since I don't have an external programmer, it's kind of useless for me. <laughs> I love these bursts. Up the tempo. Should have been in a drum drones video. This is the ultimate drum drone. Okay. So, but I've got two outputs, so let's try another one. So now I'm going to take the other output, B, and run it into this Brulen Kier filter. That's very Latin. I feel this machine does either brain dance or Latin or sometimes hard techno. It's beautiful words in between. So if you vary the step length, it's easy to get straight rhythms too. Now let's try the shift register. This is now generating pseudo-random pulse signals. But they still feel very musical to me. 
but that is not all of the sequencing functions that this word generator has. It has sync outputs for the first bit and the last bit. The first bit is the one which with this starts, so it will send out a trigger here, and then it will send out one on the last bit. So if we've set our sequence length to 10, it will put out a trigger here. This can be used to trigger all kinds of other things. For example, a switch, so you can do melodic switching. So now I'm taking two oscillators with different sounds and pitch, running them into a switch, and I'm changing between the two channels with the sync output, which makes them play together. And having stuff play together in test equipment, that's the difficult part, because there are no voltage-controlled amplifiers, as you find in a modular or any other standard synthesizer. So you have to find all these ways around that. And of course, the word generator will sync beautifully with other equipment, such as the impulse generator over here. And the best way that I've found to make these two monster machines play together is using the programmierbare impulse generator to trigger the cycle command of the word generator.
So that is the HP 8006A word generator. It's one of the most musical pieces of test equipment I've come across. It generates fantastic rhythms, even though it's not clear how to exactly program them. It's a bit of higher math that you have to do or just switch all the knobs and enjoy what comes out. Another great thing about it are the sync outputs. They enable you to chain a few of those together if you manage to find them and you get a mega trigger sequencer. Or you can use them to control other pulse generators, switches and create all kinds of interesting subdivisions of the main rhythm that you're doing. If the music in this episode sounds a bit darker than what you used for me, that's because that's how I feel after the break-in. If you feel like supporting my channel and supporting what I do, uh, buy my music on iTunes or Bandcamp or I've got a Patreon setup that helps me out a great deal. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below and I see you in the next one. Bye.